a lot of people watching this video right now, they're watching it because they want an edge, and that's great. I admire that. You're strivers. So am I. But strivers in the striving process, they open themselves up to one of the most deleterious addictive behaviors known to mankind, and that's workaholism. Now, I have found in my own work that workaholism actually isn't the primary addiction. The primary addiction for most strivers is an addiction to success, achieving something of merit and being rewarded for it. Look, I'm guilty here, and seeking success is hard. You have to excel, and you have to excel compared to other people, and that means you need to outwork other people, and that leads to the work addiction. The underlying problem is success addiction. Behind that, there's actually something even more profound, which is a tendency to reduce yourself to nothing more than a success machine. That's a problem. You're more than a success machine. You're not a robot, neither am I. But when you see yourself as the most excellent person, so very special, you've objectified yourself. You've taken away a big piece of your humanity. If you're exhibiting workaholic behavior, you need to deal with it. For workaholics, the primary relationship, love relationship in their life is with work. That's not a good love relationship because work can't really love you back. Work takes, work doesn't give. You need to actually take the people that you love the most and that perhaps you've been neglecting and ask them, what do you think I should do? You know, what do you actually think I should do to, to instead of that?